Good morning, everyone. My name is Anne Marie Band. Today's Wednesday, May the 24th, and this is the Moneyball Morning Report for the Benzinga Pro platform. Taking a look at these areas, you know I had this 4140-ish up here before. You can look at yesterday's video. Now I've moved it down to about 4132. Where was the trade? Remember, you go to the last two candlesticks and you measure what's happening there. Have we left the close? Excuse me. Yes, the close of the prior day. Are we underneath it? Yeah, that means sellers are going to come in. Where's my stop? It's going to be the high of the bounce. Okay, or relative congestion, somewhere around there. If you want to wait for that bounce and try it because trend is down, remember, my thought is that we're sitting in this big mosh pit. Okay, so 41.32 to 41.20 with a few wiggles to 41.08 could be where we're headed. Now, there are a few things that are popping pretty nicely, but for the most part, Everything's sort of dribbling off with the rest of the market. All right. What do we look below? We just said 4112, 4120. That looks like the region that we might hold because everything's very organized. If we bounce off of this ledge at the open, overnight inventory is short. They're going to start to want to cover or they're going to step down harder on the necks of the buyers and shove them out of the way. We just have to wait and see which one it is. If we get above 41.32, we can sort of creep back into 41.40. If it holds this 41.40, I imagine some sort of step down and then a move up or a dramatic move up. It's getting close to be where the sellers would say, I need to buy to cover. And remember, that's how the market goes up, right? People buy. And a lot of times they're buying to cover in this particular market. Take a look at the Qs. The NQ has been on a savage run to the north. Look, parabolic motion like this has to exhaust. Why? At the end of the day, there are just no buyers left. Everybody that bought is not buying anymore. And so that causes a buyer strike. This brings the sellers in. What levels are we looking for? Oh, lo and behold, there's our 13,640. We talked about it yesterday, right? We were up here. I said, hey, listen, if it starts lo losing 13,800, it's going to fade. That fade is going to bring us first to 13,740 and then 13,640. I said, hey, it probably won't get there in one day, but there we have it. Two days later, there it is. Is this the end of the range? I don't know. This moves pretty parabolic. Are they going to try and buy there? You betcha. You betcha. They are going to try and hold this level. And so this is the opportunity for the region to create the buy zone. And if it exhausts up here and you can't get these 100 points, it's going to rotate down. 13,564 below, 13,740 above. Just look at the levels, folks. Easy peasy if you're focused. All right, take a look at SPY. Back inside of the prior month. Love it, frankly. I love this kind of rotation. I love sideways markets. I do. I love them. Um, now, this has got a sideways upward grind, so it makes things a little bit more tricky, but I do love them. What are we looking here? Uh, we've got 412. Looks reasonable, but holy cow, if you went through and asked the question, hey, who went long, who went short, you're going to have a coin toss right here. So we could easily get down into 410. I love this area around 410 to start thinking about buying because I believe we are range bound. Could we stop at 411? Yes. How do you know it's going to stop? Well, I don't. But if it does, it's going to look the exact same way. How's it going to do it? It's going to come down, lose the level, stop going down, hold up, hold the level, pop up into the resistance zone, pull back, and it will break 411. Bob's your uncle. There you go. 412, back to 414, back to 415, 416. Absolutely love the current formation in here. Super sideways, one of my favorite ways to trade. I know it's annoying for folks that love trend. Um, 
This just happens to be the market that I like the best. Now, what I notice with the folks on the Benzinga Pro platform, which you get me every day, is that we sort of lose patience in terms of the rotation down and rolling contracts does get annoying on occasion. All right, are we sitting here? Yes, 331 base, 334 breakout. Are they gonna try and hold here? You betcha, this is a buy zone in this space. If they come in and there are no buyers, it means the sellers are continuing to force it down and that probably gonna bring us to around here, 327. It's got a lot of rotation to pull back. And right now, a lot of the traders are pretty strong. FOMC meeting today. No, not meeting, minutes. We know what the minutes say, but um, it's, you have no idea what's gonna happen, truly. You, you just never know, you never know. All right, so that's it for me, folks. Enjoy the trading day. Tomorrow will be the last, ah, no, 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 no. I'll see you tomorrow and then I'll see you Friday. I am on IBD Live this week on Friday, so I'll be out of pocket in the morning. Take care. See you soon.